Hi, it's Craig from Golf Simulator Life, and today I want to go through what I think is one of the most useful features that is on offer from the SkyTrack, and that is bag mapping. Now, I don't profess to be a professional golfer. I played golf to a very high standard at amateur level in my youth, so I played multiple English amateur championships, and I played in the British amateur. So I have played golf to a good standard in the past. And one of the most important things for every golfer, no matter what handicap you are, you must know how far you hit your clubs. And as it happens, that's not how far the ball goes, but what your carry dis distance is. Because your carry distance on a Lynx golf course against a Parkland golf course will be more important because on a Parkland golf course, the ball is more likely to stop very quickly. But on a Lynx golf course, it's going to probably land on firmer ground and travel further. So knowing how far you carry the ball is the most important number rather than how far you think you hit the ball. And I'm amazed by just how many amateur golfers kind of don't know how far they hit the ball. They're kind of like, you know, how far do you hit a seven iron? Oh, uh, you know, about 150. Well, you know, is it 150? Is it 140? You know, you must know. And by knowing exactly how far you hit your clubs can massively help take shots off your round out on the golf course. So let's just go over to the sky track here. We've got the main menu. So to get to bag mapping, you just click on game improvement, bag mapping, and it takes you to the bag mapping page. So just for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to do uh, five iron to lob wedge. Now I recommend hitting five shots per club any more than that. And it does become a bit long winded and takes too long. Uh, and best shot selected, you want your best three shots from five. Leave the intended gap between clubs at 10 yards and gap tolerance at two yards. So once you've got all that selected as you want to do it, then click on apply and it takes you to the screen. So we'll hit the first uh, lob wedges and then we'll fast track through the rest of it uh, and get to the end. So there's a couple of really important things. First one is you must use the golf ball that you use on the golf course because all golf balls will go different distances. So whatever golf ball you use on the course, make sure you use on your bag mapping session. The second thing is if you hit a duff shot, then delete it and hit it again. If you and, and on the same token, if you catch one a little bit thin, for example, and it goes a bit further than you would normally want it to, again, delete it. What you want is five solidly hit shots. So then we can get the right average and get the right carry distances for every club. OK, so lob wedge first. out to the right so yeah that's pretty much what I'd expect from my lob wedge so we'll just quickly hit another four shots you can just see how the session works off to the left with that one but again most important thing is that I it came out the middle of the club and I just hit a nice solid shot obviously normally you want one one to rush through your shots like this but I'm just doing it for the fact of this demonstration now I didn't hit that one quite as well and it's gone out to the right I think so what I would do with that is come onto the sky track here and hit delete because I don't want an off shot I want to be taking an average of just my good solid golf shot. Uh, 
Okay, and then the last one. Okay, at the end of this shot now, which is my fifth shot, it will instantly tell me that I've finished with the lob wedge and it gives me a countdown to my sand wedge. And what I suggest you do is just take your time between each shot. Otherwise, you do find yourself, you know, sometimes even getting a little bit tired because you're just hitting shot after shot after shot. Just take your time between clubs, take your time between shots. There's no hurry to do this. Uh, I'm going to go through the rest of the bag now and we'll fast track to the results at the end. So I have finished the hitting session to map my bag. I'm going to go over now to the to the result. So the first thing you want to be looking for here is that these bottom little bars of colour, which is each club, you want to see an equal distance between each one. And as we can see here, my eight iron is a little bit lower than where we ideally want it to be. Now that could be because Worst case scenario is that the loft on my eight iron is incorrect, at which point I want to take it to a club fitter to get that checked out, which I know is not the case. Or in probably in this case, I just didn't hit them quite as solidly as possibly would have liked to. But it could certainly highlight uh, a problem with the loss of your clubs if you consistently see a difference. Because standard golf clubs that are you know mass producing a factory, it wouldn't be unusual for the odd one to be not the loft that uh, it should be. So all the great uh, information you get here. So average club gap is 11 yards, which is about where you want it to be, 10, 11 yards. Average shot dispersion, 8.5 yards, which is, that's pretty good. That means I've hit some good golf shots. Furthest gap is 15, and the closest gap is 3. And that's because this A tie-in, it needed to be here, right in between the 7 and the, and the 9 iron. So once you've done that, you then click on Export. And it does that. And then if I click on this PDF. Okay. So then when you export it, it then gives you this PDF with an incredible amount of information. So this first bit is what we've just seen on the screen, which you get straight after your session. Then on to the next screen, where you then start to get information on your shot tendencies. So on the left here, you can see with a colored graph where each shot went. Over here, we've got side angle tendency is a slight push, shot shape tendency is a draw, and offline tendency is three yards to the right. So then, as you scroll down, well, you then get individual club information, and this is where you get your real detail. So I happen to use a very old set of clubs that's got standard loft. So my seven iron, for example, has got 36 degrees of loft. The modern seven irons these days or as low as 30 or even 29 degrees. But it doesn't matter what your lofts are, the bag mapping session will tell you how far those clubs go. That's the most important thing. And know how far they carry. That's the key thing here. So on my lob wedge, average of 96 yards carry, shot dispersion of nine yards, offline tendency of 2.7, and a slight draw. And you get that for every single club through your bag. And what I'm liking here is I'm seeing the same kind of thing. My shot shape tendency is a draw with every single club. Uh, there was only that A sign that was just had a slight discrepancy in its distance. So at the end of this, you've then got all of the really key information that you need to know exactly how far you hit the clubs in your golf bag. So I hope that demonstrates what an amazingly useful tool the bag mapping is on the SkyTrack software. Yes, the SkyTrack is fantastic to use as a practice tool to come in here. I can hit shots. I can work on my swing. I can keep my game for going when it's really bad weather. But as a really effective, useful tool, the bag mapping is absolutely fantastic. 
because now with the GPS devices, the laser devices for getting your distances on the course, all the apps that you can use now, there's apps where you could take those carry distances and input those into the app and it will start to give you real great information when you're out on the golf course. And in particular, if you're playing a golf course that you've not played before, absolutely invaluable. So if you've got a SkyTrack or you're thinking of getting a SkyTrack, I really think that if it, were, if it was for nothing more than all the other great things you can do on the SkyTrack, as I say, to practice and go on TGC 2019 and play courses, the bag mapping feature for me is by far the most useful and the most important. And if you use it properly, it can be a massive help to your game as well. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Please, everyone who's subscribing, we're a new channel. We're gonna be putting on more and more online content, uh, hoping to get out on the real golf course and get some content as well in the future. So please hit that subscribe button, subscribe button. If you like the video, then please click that like, it really helps. And we'll see you next time with another, hopefully, really interesting video for you guys. Okay. See you next time.